right, let's talk about the good stuff first. And that is the first video for part one before the repeats. Uh, everything up to 165 was done well. At 170, when you did the second half, that's when things started to fall apart, especially when the hand was no longer moving the entire time. So the rhythm was definitely lost, and it continued to get a bit worse as you got faster. So the unfortunate thing is, I can only assume you didn't realize it was wrong, and that's why you kept going up. Uh, repeats, definitely glad you slowed down a bit to add to try doing all four repetitions, but unfortunately with that guy, the rhythm was very, very different compared to what it should be. So, wait, I clicked the wrong thing. Here we go. I'm going to take a look at what you did here. Now, important thing to remember, all these chords are supposed to ring out a beat and a half. Because every chord rings out a beat and a half, every chord needs to last exactly the same amount of time. When you listen and watch your playback here, the chords are definitely not equally spaced. So hopefully you watching that back is obvious that those chords are definitely not evenly spaced and you just played your own rhythm there quite different from what we're supposed to do especially when you did like three eighth notes in a row stuff like that um, so what we're gonna do to help hopefully help you understand what this rhythm is better and hear it better uh, before we go back to what you did this past week we're gonna try and polish it up and then retry retry things to make sure that you got it right uh, what I want you to do is get comfortable playing this at 160 no faster no faster than 160 plus the repeat so you can certainly play it slower and you should at first and perhaps instead of working the entire thing going 60 65 70 75 because this is a lot you may just want to do like the last half so that would be an appropriate amount to work up in increments of five I would not work the entire thing up with the repeat in increments of five because that could take a long time so and then there's just so much room for error so make sure that your hand is moving consistently throughout so when we revisit what you had last time, something you need to make sure you're disciplined with is if your hand is not moving constantly, including all those ghost drums, do not move on. The ghost drums are there to help make sure you are rhythmically correct. And when those ghost drums went away, the rhythmic correctness was out. So it needs to stay for right now until you are rock solid with this stuff. Anyway... So working it up, you can do this, the highlighted part, you know, from going up in the usual way. You can also do the first half on its own. That's fine. Uh, you can also, and a very good idea, practice with Guitar Pro. And let me change this back here. So practicing with Guitar Pro, what you can also do is use the percentage feature here. Basically, set it at 50%. Play this at the 50% speed with the repeat. Once you get that 100% correct, then you can start practicing the 60%. Get that 100% correct, then start practicing the 70%, and so on. So, I am going to demonstrate this thing at the 160 with the metronome. Hand moving, picking hand moving constantly the whole time. Here we go. 
One, two, one, two, three, four. questions come up let me know and I will see you in your next video